Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to show how we can create a highly configurable wave like curve that can have its highest location being established by a point and having sliders that can control its pitch, height as well as other configurations. Okay, let's start. Let's begin by creating a row of points. I'm going to use range and maybe I set the domain here to 100 okay, I'm going to use the construct point to generate the points on Rhino okay, you can see we've got rows of points over here the next thing I need to do is to create a central location that will be used to control the type of the wave pattern to do that I'm going to put a point on Rhino and then associate it to grasshopper right mouse click set one point okay and I'm going to call this the central location I'm going to um, duplicate this I guess I can keep the steps the same okay this other range component will be used to uh, later generate the height of the wave okay let me um, Firstly, uh, before we do that, establish and evaluate the distance of each point on here to the central location. We can do that by using a component called distance. Okay, use the distance component and set the point A to correspond to the central location and then all the point Bs to each point on the horizontal uh, line here okay so I'm going to connect this here and if I were to put a panel you'll see that um, whole list of distance has been generated now um, I'm going to create the initial wave okay to do that i have to use the sign component and I'm going to use this second one and connect it to the sign and okay uh, let me put a new construct point just to give you an overview of um the general form first before we do some refinement okay what I'm going to do is you can see that we got this construct point over here right uh, if I were to uh, connect this here and then connect this you can see the general general sign wave if I have to put a curve nope curve you can see that we get the general sine wave here however you notice that this general sine wave is not in any way being controlled by this um, central location so uh, we want to add some kind of um, association to control the central location okay but this part might get a bit uh, confusing so um, bear with me if I take a longer time to trigger this aspect so what I'm going to do is actually to 
use this distance to multiply to the new uh, construct point can you see over here we got something like that right so if i were to uh can you see you got some distance over here if i get this distance to multiply with with this we sort of like get uh some variance uh, in terms of the height okay so i could put a multiplication Like this let's say to this and then then connect this to here yeah you can see that we get like this kind of uh, shape and if I were to move this you can see that I'm controlling the height this part would be the lowest point later we want to do in such a way that this part is the highest point and these are the lowest point okay Okay, this corresponds to the x coordinate this corresponds to the y coordinate okay so if i were to play with this you can see that i'm controlling the the pitch of the wave this one controls the accuracy or the density of the points okay so i'm going to set this a bit higher Okay, however you notice that um i still can further refine the control so this is what i'm going to do now i'm going to add uh, some further component involving the remapping of numbers to further refine this control over here okay, this part might get a bit confusing so you gotta bear with me so this here okay so the remapping will be done over here so I'm going to put the remap numbers uh, these are my values okay so this distance a b is my initial value I'm going to remap them to some new values okay and then the source use the bounds connect these to here and let's put a panel Okay, you see that now this is the the bounds okay this is the shortest distance this is the longest distance of the whole list of distances okay can connect this here and then i go to remap to a new target domain of numbers so i'm going to use something called a construct domain should be this one this should be connected to this and then I have to do some kind of control over here um, let's set to minus 3 to let's say 10 set this to floating point I guess one decimal point will do some kind of numbers and then this I have to somehow uh, connect uh, I guess I could connect this to this okay now I'm connecting uh, this distance directly here so now we have a new remap set of numbers so I guess let's connect this here yeah so you can see that we are getting some kind of a result okay so by setting all this I'm able to like Do some kind of control okay i can control the pitch by using this value so we have uh, got a kind of setup that's able to create a highly controllable wave pattern that can fit their way into the distance by using a central location to control the center of the 
fading okay yeah okay I guess I should like group this as a um, remap number setup I call this as a uh, remap numbers okay with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you Bye.